In this problem, we have to prove all three of these things. And to do that, we're going to use a previous theorem. If you have the expected value of a function of a random variable, which we'll call y, and you want the expected value of this, this is equal to the improper integral from negative infinity to infinity of g of y times f of y. It should, it should have been a lowercase y. It's a lowercase y there, dy. Where little f is the density function of our random variable. All right, let's just go ahead and go through all of these and just do all of the verifications. So proof. Proofs. So one. So here, c, you can think of c as a function, right? So this will be the expected value of c is equal to, so just replace your, your g of y with the constant function. So this is negative infinity to infinity of c times your density function, f of y dy. And now what you can do is we can pull out the c. So this is equal to c. And then this is the improper integral from negative infinity to infinity of f of y dy. And little f is a density function. So this entire integral here is going to be equal to 1. So this is c times 1. And that's equal to c. And this is because, because f is the density function. Let's put the density func for y. So we have the, the expected value of c is equal to c, and that completes our little, our little proof. 2. We have the expected value of our constant times g of y. So now we're thinking of this whole thing, c times g of y, as our, as our function. So we're just going to replace it in the formula. So this is equal to the improper integral from negative infinity to infinity of c g of y times f of y dy. And as before, um, it's a constant, so you can pull that out of the integral. So we have c improper integral negative infinity to infinity g of y f of y dy. And this is just c times the expected value of g of big Y. Beautiful stuff, right? That's because, so really everything follows from the linearity properties of the integral. It's really, uh, really straightforward. Three, we have the expected value of this sum of functions of a random variable. So plus dot 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 plus g sub k of y. And so what is this? This is the improper integral from negative infinity to infinity. Of, and then here we have g sub 1 of little y plus dot, 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 plus g sub k of little y. That's our function. Times f of little y dy. And then we can simply distribute. Right, we can distribute the f throughout all of these. This will give us the improper integral from negative infinity to infinity of g sub 1 of y times f of y plus dot 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 plus g sub k of y times f of y. And then we have dy. And now we can use uh, the linearity property of integrals to say that this is equal to the improper integral from negative infinity to infinity of g sub 1 of y, f of y, dy, plus dot, 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 plus the improper integral from negative infinity to infinity of g sub k of y times f of y dy. And this first improper integral is the expected value of g sub 1 of capital Y plus dot 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 plus the expected value of g sub k of capital Y. 
and that completes the proof, right? So really a straightforward exercise uh, and just going through and just verifying um, all three things. It really just follows uh, from this. You really do have to think, though. I think the coolest part is maybe the first one because <laughs> we had to use the fact that this is equal to 1. That was probably the, the neat, neatest part of all of it. But I hope this video has been helpful. That's it.